talked about the atmosphere that you'll have to create once you get to Mars. I want to talk about day-to-day -day life. What will you be eating? So the idea is to make it a sustainable society yeah. eventually. Um, when the first four arrive, they will have two years' worth of food supplies with them. But the idea would be to start planting seeds that they bring with them immediately mm -hmm. and to eat the fresh fruits uh, or probably vegetables initially that they grow inside um, indoor greenhouse type areas inside the habitat. So this will be done hydroponically with LED lighting um, and the fresh organic, of course, okay. fruits and vegetables will be eaten by, by the settlers. So basically, we're going to create a, almost like a bubble that you can live freely in just as you would live yeah. in on Earth. So it's not just the Earthlings that we're taking from Earth to Mars, right. but also the bacteria in our stomach comes along, the seeds that we bring, eventually there's some small little ecosystem will wow. be existing on Mars. Now, when you get there, are you allowed to enter into relationships with the other contestants? Um, with respect to that, Mars One does have a section where they've talked about uh, reproduction, which mm -hmm. might have been your next question. Yes, it was. <laughs> <laughs> so they've advised against it initially, just because um, childbirth is a dangerous operation when the medical equipment is, is not as advanced mm -hmm. as it is on Earth. Um, and also the, the group of the genetic pool is not big enough to actually right. sustain a, a viable population at that point. I think a group of 30 scientifically is required to have a, a wide gene variety. Okay. Um, so they've advised against it initially, but that's as much as they've said. Okay. So things could get interesting. That's I'm interesting. I'm sure they will. <laughs> 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 now, I think a lot of people would ask, um, if they're advising against reproduction, wh what's the point of colonizing the planet? Initially, only initially. Oh, initially. Uh, okay, so the first four. I mean, if if one right, of you that dies, that's twenty five percent of the yeah. team. Right. It's it's too much of a risk. Okay, yeah. so initially they're initially, advising yeah, against yeah. that. Okay, now when you leave Earth, what's the last meal you're going to eat? What's that <laughs> delicious last? I'm sure, meal I'll be too to naughty. Eat? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, so um, but uh, but at the moment I'm definitely trying to make the most of my life yeah. um, in terms of uh, the people that I enjoy spending time with mm -hmm. and also the foods and the outdoor activities that I enjoy doing. Actually, this whole um, experience has given me a fresh a fresh look at the planet Earth. Um, yesterday, mm -hmm. I unfortunately had to take a bus, but the view was spectacular yeah. coming over Solaris Pass. I mean, we live on a beautiful planet, so I'm just trying to appreciate every day. Wow. Now, for anyone who wants to follow your adventure, um, find out if you make the final 24 and then follow what's going to happen when you go to Mars in 2024 or later. How can they do that? So some of the fundraising for the project will, in fact, be mm -hmm. done through broad the selling of broadcasting rights. So the um, TV show mm -hmm. is not yet uh, out yet, but there's a trailer on YouTube which you can watch on the Mars 100 that have been selected. But otherwise, you can follow me on Twitter at Adriana Murray. And my website should be up in the next couple of days, which is adrianamaria.org for my latest updates. Now, I actually have to ask you this. Are you worried about being on reality television? No, I think the idea that this adventure and this uh, ambitious science mm -hmm. project should be shared with all people on Earth um, is a good idea, in fact. And I don't object to aspects of the training, the challenges, the hurdles that are overcome. Um, the interpersonal problems and so on uh, mm -hmm. are, are broadcast in a, in a scientific kind of way to humanity. After all, all humanity will be contributing to this project through um, donations, sponsorships, mm -hmm. broadcasting rights, um, contributions to intellectual property and so on. Um, that's the idea of the, of the project, to outsource all the technology and to fund the whole event through a, a media event and investments and so on. So no, I don't have any objections to, to sharing this mission. Adriana, thank you so much for joining us. We wish you the best of luck and hope that you make that top 24. Thank you. Thanks for having me.